Hare Krishna. Bhakti is not just the choice of the head, it is also the calling of the heart. Suppose we are driving along a road and while driving along that road uh, we come to a fork. Now we want to go to our destination but if we don't know which is the way to the destination we will stop over there. And suppose we consult a map or we consult a reliable person and they tell us okay go left. Now once we know the way then we'll be convinced we'll not be no, we'll no longer in we'll no longer be indecisive. But just being convinced about the right way doesn't take us along that way to the destination. We have to transform that conviction into action. We have to ride along that way till we eventually reach the destination. This is simple enough to understand, but this principle uh, has to be applied in our spiritual life also. Spiritual growth is essentially a journey of our consciousness from worldly objects towards Krishna. That means that our consciousness is presently caught in various material objects to which we might be attached. And from there, we need to redirect our consciousness towards Krishna. And for that redirection, both the head and the heart are required. You know, at times, uh, we, we may find, oh, this worldly object is quite attractive. And at our condition, says Krishna may not feel all that, seem all that attractive. Then we may be in a dilemma, should I choose this or should I choose Krishna? So, at such a time, that we need our intelligence. We need our intelligence to understand that Krishna is the source of everything. The Bhagavad Gita in 10.8 states that Aham sarvasya prabhavo matta sarvam pravartate iti matva bhajante maam buddha bhava samanvitaha Aham sarvasya prabhavo that I am the source of everything, all material and spiritual worlds come from me matta sarvam pravartate iti matva bhajante maam and those who understand this, what do they, they, they what happens to them? Buddha, they become wise and bhavasam anvitaha. With the with all the emotions of their heart, they bhajante maam, they become devoted to me. So here Krishna talks about how bhakti involves the head, but it goes beyond the head to the heart. Buddha, when we are wise, then we understand that yes, there may be many attractive things in this world. But the attractiveness of those attractive things comes from Krishna. Later in the same 10th chapter, Krishna tells in 10.41, Yad yad vibhuti mat sattvam shri madurjitam evava tatta devava gachatvam mamate jomsha sambhava That all opulent, beautiful and glorious creations spring from but a spark of my splendor. So everything attractive gets its attractiveness from Krishna. When we understand this intellectually, then even when we feel material objects as attractive, we will still will not get attracted to them. Rather, we will strive to become attracted towards Krishna. And by such a diligent striving to become attracted towards Him, we will move closer to Him. And we will apply ourselves to the process of bhakti. Now, when we try to absorb ourselves in Krishna with intellectual conviction, that focus on Krishna will connect us with Him. And when we connect with Him, uh, then we start appreciating His beauty, His sweetness, His all attractiveness. And that appreciation gives us a higher fulfillment. And gradually, as we start experiencing Krishna's love for us, as we start relishing our own loving absorption in Krishna, then our love for Him increases and our heart becomes redirected towards Krishna. In fact, as our bhakti for Him awakens, then our heart starts feeling called towards Krishna. So this is the purpose and perfection of our spiritual practices. That we want our heart to be called towards Krishna. And bhajante maam bhava samanvitaha, as this verse says, that bhajante maam, that they worship the Buddha, the wise people, they worship Krishna. But how? Bhava samanvita, imbued with emotion. That means that at the purified stage, all our emotions become directed towards and concentrated in 
Krishna and thus uh, we become absorbed in him just as presently we may, be for, we, we may feel called towards the sense objects by spiritual growth we will feel called towards Krishna and thus we will progress towards Krishna and attain Krishna. Thank you. Hare.